What is silk as such? When we talk about silk, everybody thinks that silk is a fabric. Silk is a fabric, but is made, basically it's an agricultural product. It's also a product uh, which has a living organism, uh, you know, basically giving you that uh, silk. It starts from egg production. This is what uh, happens. Uh, you know, two moths get fused together. There is a reproductive cycle to it. The eggs that get incubated for eight to nine months period then the eggs are supplied to somebody who is a, a chaki rearing center that's what they're called but primarily what he is doing is he's hatching the egg as in the poultry poultry system uh, you're hatching the egg you're passing on the larva to the next stage and that larva is then consumed by the farmers the farmers typically have their own mulberry lands if they don't have a mulberry land uh, they basically buy their mulberry leaves uh, because that's what the cell farm feeds on we, they create a cocoon. The cocoon then gets converted into a yarn through a mechanized setup called reeling units. This yarn is then con, uh, consumed by a weaving unit and finally you get the fabric. But the good part about silk is that nothing in the silk supply chain gets wasted. Even the twigs that are uh, basically the mulberry twigs uh, that are fed while uh, the silkworm is feeding on the silk uh, mulberry leaves itself, these twigs also have a Ayurvedic property. These twigs also have a property because it's everything is high in protein. And, um, you know, this is, so basically even the twigs are getting consumed in the cosmetic industry and the Ayurvedic industry and otherwise. Even the cocoon, once, a, let's suppose you're running a production cycle of, uh, you know, rearing a silkworm. What happens is sometimes you'll find that the silkworm is not fully developed because it's not fed enough or uh, you've not been able to control the temperature and humidity on the rearing center and hence you might find that you have a dead cocoon, you not have a fully formed cocoon, you might have an intertwining of two silk worms and hence getting a double cocoon out of it. Even this waste is utilized, uh, this basically this is a byproduct of the silk rearing shed and that is utilized even during the time of, uh, you know, when you're reeling, so you can make a dupe on silk out of it. You can also make, uh, uh, you know, other uh, silk material like Dupion silk, which is a fabric. But other than that, there is another uh, opportunity of utilizing this uh, wastage or the byproduct that's coming out of the silk supply chain. And that is basically to use, repackage that into a uh, fruit or vegetable and giving them a longevity because it has a sericin protein. That sericin protein is extracted, utilized by uh, a cosmetic industry, utilized by pharma industry for band-aids. Uh, utilized by uh, packaging material industry again for longevity of their fruits and vegetables. Apart from that, the moment uh, the silk reeling has happened, pupa is boiled and hence you find a lot of that pupa. Uh, only Ramnagar does around 13, uh, 13 tons of pupa on a daily basis. That's the byproduct of the reeling unit. These pupa are again very, very high on protein contents, approximately 70% 70 to 75% saracen content in it. And hence it could be utilized in aquaculture industry for fisheries, for shrimp production and otherwise. Nanna Mandi, Resha Mandi.